When we talk about modern architecture, images of the Burj Khalifa in Dubai or the One Central Park in New York probably pop into your mind. Sleek, elegant lines standing tall and proud, but the buildings we're going to talk about today are far from whatever image is in your mind. That, of course, is a specialty of this channel. Welcome back to another episode of Forever Green, where today we're going to look at 14 of the most amazing buildings in the world. Be sure to stay till number one. It's going to blow you away. Number 14, Shanghai Tower. Winner of the Tianyao Jim Civil Engineering Prize in 2018, the Shanghai Tower is a 128-story, 632-meter-tall skyscraper in Shanghai. It has the world's highest observation deck within a building, the world's second-fastest elevators with a top speed of 20.5 meters per second. This tiered construction is designed for energy efficiency and is the work of Gensler Design Firm. The tower looks like nine cylindrical buildings stacked on top of the other, enclosed in a glass facade. There are nine separate zones for offices, retail, and leisure, and each of them has their own atrium with gardens, cafes, restaurants, and fabulous views of the city. In this building, you'll find 24-hour offices for multinational companies, five-star hotels and support facilities, recreation zones and high-end retail stores, business and cultural centers, conference facilities, and even a banquet hall that measures over 1,000 square meters. Number 13, Kansas City Library. Like architecture, books are also good to guide and direct action. This intriguing bit of architecture in Kansas City, Missouri resembles a bookshelf. It runs along the south wall of the Central Library and features book spines measuring 25 feet by 9 feet. It's made up of several pieces bolted together to make one solid form. The book titles cover quite a range of topics and genres, from Lord of the Rings and Fahrenheit 451 to Tao Te Ching. Some shrubs and trees to cover up a few titles, so you might want to wait for the winter to check out this structure. The concept was designed by J.E. Dunn Construction to mask the comparatively mundane structure of a new parking lot next to the library. The general public submitted their favorite book titles, and the final titles made it to the building. Number 12. Lotus Temple The Lotus Temple is located in Delhi, India, and first opened in 1986. As you can see, the name is derived from its form, which is the work of Iranian architect Forabor Saba, who won awards for his design before the temple was even completed. The temple is a place of worship for the Baha'i faith. It is characterized by its nine-sided construction in keeping with the Baha'i belief in the mystical properties of the number nine. It is set on an elevated landscape spanning 26 acres and is surrounded by red sandstone walkways and nine pools. The white marble edifice rises to over 130 feet and the temple comprises of 27 marble petals. The innermost ring of petals curve inward to form a roof over the prayer halls, which can accommodate around 2,500 people. It has a glass and steel roof that allows natural light to come through. All this gives an illusion of a lotus in full bloom floating in a pond, surrounded by its leaves. Speaking of leaves, here's a fun fact. This temple cost 10 million US dollars to construct, and a portion of this budget was used to build a greenhouse to study indigenous plants and flowers that could be used for this site. Number 11, Turning Torso. Not only is the Turning Torso the tallest building in Nordic countries, it is also the first twisting tower in the world. When it opened in 2005, it also became the highest residential building in the Europe. It is 190 meters tall and houses 147 apartments. The idea was to create a landmark of urban renewal in the city, someplace that features homes, businesses, culture, and entertainment, while also being conscious of environment sustainability. Turning Torso was inspired by a sculpture called Twisting Torso, which was made entirely from white marble by Santiago Calatrava. The building has won awards for its pioneering sustainable design and its execution of sustainable industry standards. 100% of the energy consumed in the building is renewable and comes from hydro, solar, wind, and geothermal sources. 
so that residents of the building can make informed decisions regarding their energy consumption. Each apartment is fitted with electricity consumption meters and an organic waste disposal unit that converts all household waste material into energy. Number 10. Bibliotheca Alexandrina Any avid book lover knows the tragedy of the Library of Alexandria that was burnt down when the Romans set fire to ships docked in the Alexandrian port. The Bibliotheca Alexandrina is a revival of the same legendary library. The rebuilding of the library has returned Alexandria to its former status as a center for education and provided the city with its landmark. The idea to revive it began way back in 1974. Construction began in 1995 and costed $220 million, and it officially opened its doors to the public in 2002. Though the idea was to represent a piece of significant history, the building itself looks more modern. From the shoreline, it looks like a disc. This was to mimic the circular layout of the harbor. The groundscape contains an open plaza and a reflecting pool, and the southern side of the library rises up 32 meters above the plaza. As a nod to history, the wall is carved with languages both modern and ancient, indicating its worldliness. Inside, the library has space for 8 million books, and the main reading room covers over 20,000 square meters. In addition to that, there are conference centers, map libraries, four museums, four art galleries, a planetarium, and a manuscript restoration lab. Number 9. Wat Samfron Temple The actual year this temple was built is unknown, but it was officially registered in 1985 and is located about 40 kilometers west of Bangkok. The founder of this temple was said to have been inspired to build this temple after a seven-day meditation and fast. The temple is 17 stories tall and pink, but it is best known for the red and green dragon sculpture encircling it. Despite how undeniably incredible the structure is, the Wat Samphran Temple is rarely featured in guidebooks and removed from typical tourist paths. The few who have come upon this building describe the interiors as deteriorating and in poor condition, but are full of praise for the statues and shrines inside. The dragon itself is reportedly hollow and contains a spiral staircase, which today is in poor condition in some places. Number 8. Atomium, Brussels, Belgium No, this isn't just a structure up there for decoration. It's an actual building with exhibit halls and restaurants. You're probably wondering, well, how do we even get up there? We'll tell you in just a minute. First, let's look at some stats. Atomium is located in Belgium and stands 102 meters tall. The spheres you see are 18 meters in diameter, and the whole structure takes the shape of an iron ferrite crystal magnified 165 billion times. Three meter wide tubes connect the spheres and have elevators and staircases within them. The elevators can carry about 22 people, and the main tube takes guests right to the top in just 23 seconds. It was originally constructed for the 1958 Brussels World's Fair, and needless to say, it was a technical feat. In the 50s, there was great faith in technology and science, and a structure of atoms was the way to embody that. It was designed to only last six months, but the immense popularity it gained made it a major landmark in Brussels. The original design called for no supports. The structure was simply to rest on the spheres. Wind tunnel tests proved that the structure should have toppled in a 50 miles per hour winds, and the highest recorded in Belgium so far has been 90 miles per hour. Support columns were added to achieve more stability, but there is still little maintenance work being done on the structure. Three of the four top spheres lack vertical support and are currently not open to the public for safety reasons, but the pinnacle is open to the public. Number 7. The Piano House, Anhu, China this unusual design is actually the work of architecture students from Hefei University of Technology in China. How creative is that? The piano house and violin building was finished in 2007 and was initially used as a showroom to exhibit development plans for the district of Shanan in Huanan City in China. The transparent violin is made from clear glass panels and has an elevator and staircases that take you to the main piano building, which is now used as a concert hall. The piano itself rests on three concrete legs and is made from hundreds of black and clear white glass panels for its keys. The open terrace is sheltered by the propped open lid of the piano. It has actually now become quite the symbol of love in China. 
as newlywed couples travel far and wide to have their pictures taken in front of the structure. Number 6. The Dancing House, Prague, Czech Republic Or Fred and Ginger, as it's affectionately called, after Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. The Dancing House in Prague was designed by a Croatian-Czech architect called Vlado Mulinic and was finished in 1996. It was quite a controversial piece when it first arrived on the scene because it stuck out in a very obvious way amongst the surrounding Baroque and Gothic architecture. But it is now one of the most significant landmarks in Prague and definitely the most renowned post-1989 bit of Czech architecture. Today, it houses 3,000 square meters of office space, a restaurant, galleries, and a conference center. There's also a panoramic terrace on top which offers amazing views of the city. Number 5. Natiroi Museum of Contemporary Art No, this isn't a UFO, it's a museum. But it was definitely inspired by one. The saucer-shaped modernist structure was the idea of Oscar Niemeyer, a Brazilian architect. This art museum is in Rio de Janeiro and is one of the city's main landmarks. It took five years to build this four-story structure, and 5,500 tons of materials were excavated for it. It rises 16 meters, and a single 9-meter wide cylindrical base supports the entire structure. It might seem a little bulky, so a reflecting pool with an area over 800 square meters was added to give an illusion of lightness. A wide access sloped leads into the Hall of Expositions, which has a capacity of 60 people. Two doors lead to a viewing gallery, which have panoramic views of the Guanabara Bay. Externally, the museum is illuminated by 34 lights installed under the surface of the water in the reflecting pool. It creates a very space look and emphasizes the lightness of the structure. Number 4. Nautilus House, Mexico City, Mexico If you've ever wondered what it must be like for most aquatic animals to live inside a shell, this right here is the answer. The Nautilus House in Mexico is a shell-shaped building and a good example of bioarchitecture. It was made using ferro cement and consists of a frame of steel-enforced chicken wire coated in a thin layer of concrete. As odd as it may sound, this material weighs less than brick and is earthquake resistant too. It also allows for these delicate curves and gives the impression that the building is emerging organically from the ground. The name of the building comes from the shell of Nautilus cephalopod and it mimics the same spirals and concave shapes. The house is lit up with natural light from above, as well as an external wall with hundreds of small rainbow-colored stained glass windows. As impressive as the outside is, and it is very impressive, the inside will blow you away. The inside is full of spiral and circular features, and there is lush green grass just growing in the living room around flower-shaped couch. The bathroom gives you a feeling of actually being underwater with its sandy walls, blue tiles, and a window for a roof. Living here, you are basically one with nature. Number 3. Krzyżowe Domek, Sopot, Poland It's safe to say that if you pass by this building, you would stop to take a look. The Krzyżowe Domek, or Crooked House, is an unusual piece of architecture located in Sopot in Poland. Completed in 2004, the building was designed by Stienski and Zaleski, who were inspired by the fairy tale illustrations and drawings of Jan Markin Sanzer. This magical effect draws in many visitors, and inside, you'll find shops, restaurants, and cafes. The locals sometimes joke about it, saying that if you are out partying and drinking and you pass this building, and it looks normal, it means you're wasted. Before we check out number two, we have a quick challenge for you. In the next five seconds, Go ahead and subscribe to the Forever Green channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload and you'll receive the exact present you want this Christmas. Go ahead, it works! Number 2. Casa do Penedo, Fafe, Portugal This might look like a remnant of the Stone Age, a regular boulder that's just been left alone, but it is in fact a home. Casa do Penedo, or the House of Stone, was built in 1974 and meant as a vacation house. Before you go scrambling to pack up and move here, you should know this place is pretty cut off. How cut off? Well, it gets no electricity, and the family that lived here had to use candlelight to see indoors. 
Despite the fact that it is now near a wind electricity farm, the house still gets no electricity. That said, the house boasts a cozy fireplace, a swimming pool carved into stone, and logs for stairs. It probably isn't much in use now, as the owner had to convert his home into a museum for small pictures and items depicting the history of Panetto. Let's check out today's subscriber pick. Remember, if you come across something interesting or bizarre online, be sure to send it over to us and we will investigate. Let's take a look. Well, that looks like an intriguing concept, and it is real. Check out the number one most amazing building on our list. Before we reveal number one, be sure to check out other amazing videos on our channel and give us a like if you enjoyed this video so far. Tell us in comments which one of these you like the most and why. Number one, Agora Tower, Taiwan. The 23,000 trees and shrubs in the balconies of this building are meant to practically eat smog. In fact, they are projected to absorb 130 tons of carbon dioxide per year. It may sound like a lot, but it is only a small fraction of the roughly 260 million tons of carbon dioxide in Taiwan. But it's a significant stepping stone. It's over 455,000 square feet, and the double helix is modeled after a DNA strand. Plants will also grow inside to the tower's hallways, which will have glass flooring. But while being sustainable, it is also luxurious. The building will house 40 luxury condos, and each of them including a living room, dining room, family room, kitchen, and multiple bedrooms with walk-in closets. You can have a stunning view of the city from your balcony or enjoy the same from the indoor swimming pool. Well, that's it for the most amazing buildings in the world. Which one did you like the most? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching Forever Green, and we'll see you next time.